there. And now we're looking at how to create um, some automated um, accommodations for students who are going to take one of these Google Forms quizzes within our quests, but maybe they don't pass the first time and we want to send them along a side path to get a little bit of review and maybe try a retake version of our quiz. So last video, we looked at how to create a Google Forms quiz objective um, like you're seeing here. And so if you didn't see that already, then check that out because that will tell you how to get everything set up perfectly, how to create your forms quiz, how to get your, um, your sheet set up for responses. And um, it basically is gonna walk you through this article as well. Um, so yeah, go check that out if you haven't already done so. Let's get into getting this multiple pathway set up. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna go back my quest path here. Here's my full quest. Here's all my quests. I don't need to go that far back. That would take me back to what we call the world map. So let's go back into my quest here. And we're going to, um, we've already set a, a pass fail score for this quiz. Um, on my quiz here, there's 20 points available. So I set a pass score when I was setting up this objective in Classcraft for 12 points out of 20. Students have to get 12 out of 20 in order to get a purple check mark and move forward. And we see that, we see down below here is, is there's a little people's icons with a zero. That means zero of my students have made it to the quiz. Um, zero purple checks, zero students have passed the quiz and zero pink X's, zero students have failed the quiz. So let's, um, that's kind of how you can interpret all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's go into, let's add an objective here. Let's make, um, let's make a regular task. And what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna, this is going to be where the students will go if, um, if they don't pass, if they don't, if they get less than a 12 on the quiz. So we're gonna give them another little review thing. I can leave the story empty or put something in there. If I leave it empty, it won't show an empty story piece. It just won't be there for the students to see. So here we're gonna add in some kind of review, revisit opportunity for the students um, to try again for that retake quiz. So they're getting ready for the retake. Okay, and maybe you put in a YouTube video or whatever you need to put in there. You can drop and upload files. You know how this goes. Okay, so then let's click next. You can enable assignments, which would give your students a task a text box like this, and then they could turn something in if you want to. And then you could see if they're ready, like maybe a review sheet or something, and or a te or a quiz. Um, uh, you know, a quiz, they, they evaluate how they did on the first quiz and they kind of reflect on that. So, but you could have them turn something in there if you want to, or you can just leave that blank. Um, probably don't really need a discussion going on unless you want to make it a social experience for students to be able to discuss um, how the quiz went. This would only be the students that are sent to this objective. So only the students that don't pass the quiz the first time would be uh, here having that discussion. That's kind of kind of up to you. Uh, progress is just going to give some students some points for moving on past this. You can throw some points their way. Just to, I always kind of put points at the end of this. If you make it self-paced, then students are going to be able to come in here. They're going to be able to review for the quiz. And then as soon as they're ready, they're going to be able to progress on to your retake. I would probably not make it self-paced. This is just my recommendation. And I would probably add an assignment. I would have them, i will give them some points for turning it in on time. And I always love doing that early hand and reward a day before um, they would turn it in just because I love to see them putting in extra effort. And then um, I would let students turn in their review and I would look at it and see if they're ready. Now, if you're doing, uh, if you have a lot of students and you really want this automated, then, then you don't need to enable assignments. You can just make this self-paced and then students will just progress on to that retake. The, the gamble you throw in there is that students won't really necessarily review so well here. They might not really be ready for that retake yet and they're just gonna burn that retake by progressing themselves right onto it when they're not ready. But you know, that's, that's uh, whatever style you want to, you want to do is, is totally up to you as far as that 
goes. So now we have our objective here and um, we're going to need to create a path to it. So we're going to create a path with the blue objectives, click and drag. And then we're going to set this to um, take off the purple check and click on the pink X. And that means that now students who get a passing score will go on purple path. Students who get a failing score will go on to the pink X path. And now we need to bring them up to uh, a retake. So I'm going to add another objective. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to, it's going to be a Google Forms quiz and it's going to be the retake of, um, retake version of my other quiz. So I'm going to leave story empty. I'm going to select the form and I've already got my retake version created. So here's my forces quest quiz retake. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to select the spreadsheet that I've created for my forces quest quiz retake as well. And then I'm going to say, you know, this quiz, this retake version is also has 20 points available total. So I'm going to say, you know, I want the kiddos to get a 12 out of 20, get that 60%. And then next, and then let's go ahead and give them the same points they would have gotten if they'd passed the first time. Uh, Cause they did not get these points because they did not pass the first time and then click save. Now we need to go ahead and let them connect here. So I'm going to do click and drag. And then we want them to be able to come to the end if they pass the quiz. So let's go ahead and bring it to the end there. And now what we have is we have a situation where kids can take a quiz. They pass, they're done. They don't pass. They review and try a retake. And if they pass, then they're done. If they don't pass, then they'll just, they'll get a, a pink X here. Um, when you're looking at this, you'll see them listed here and you will see pink X next to any students that don't pass the second time. And then you can um, have a one-on-one -on -one with them to help them uh, maybe finally get the, get it or talk about some alternative um, assessment or way to show their learning. Okay. I hope that was helpful and um, happy questing. Um, let us know in the comments that uh, if there's anything we didn't cover that you want us to talk about and have a wonderful day, awesome educators. Thanks for watching.